All right, everyone, Logan Paul right now is being crucified for his Suicide Forest video, and there are like five or six different groups of people, some of which are more being more intellectually honest than others weighing in on this and saying different things. I'll give my own opinion. First, I wanna go through a little bit of this, and please, don't judge the video until you've watched it all, because I've, I've gotta, again, I've gotta weigh in uh, in seemingly contradictory manners. Like, in, in one moment, I'm gonna have to sort of defend Logan, and in the next one, I'm going to have to say, yeah, but, you know, he did something that was kind of the butthole-ish. So you got to uh, look at it from all possible angles. And the first group of people weighing in right now, and this is the least intellectually honest, like the most corrupt, are people who are saying, oh, you know, YouTube needs to do more to censor things. Uh, this is really, really disrespectful. And they're clutching their pearls and acting all moralistic. Oh, you know, they're being opportunists. You know, I see like Holt weighing in on it. He's like, oh, you know, Logan Paul makes money from YouTube and, you know, shouldn't be doing this. You know, you, you don't have any any problem with other lame streamers doing that. It's just it happens to be you find the content objectionable. Why do you find it objectionable? You're going to be look like that someday, too. You're going to look exactly like that body. I like, you know, maybe cremated or something. Um, does it make you feel uncomfortable to see a dead body? Well, then you shouldn't. You certainly weren't using the Internet 10 years ago in the age of, like, ogreish. You certainly weren't doing that. Uh, you realize how much similar content there is online? And then some people are saying, well, yes, but his audience is young. Uh, and so he has an added responsibility. Well, some of the people who watch my videos are young too. It's not going to make me change my behavior. It's ultimately, if they're under 18, it's up to their parents to police what they are or are not watching. It's not my fucking responsibility. And I, I hate to say it, but it's not his responsibility either. Then there's another group. And they're critical of the content, but they're primarily being critical of like YouTube. They're like, hey, if any other like like regular user, like a small time user, made a video like this, they'd probably get kicked off the platform. It would be considered too disturb at the very least to be in like limited state. And there are videos like that in limited state, so I think it would be that. YouTube typically doesn't take down and and like people's channels. Uh, for simply disgusting content anymore. You have to have an out there political opinion because words are worse than actions, according to Google now. Um, but they're kind of right when they're saying this. Look, if the average user uploaded something like this, it wouldn't have trended and it wouldn't have stayed monetized. The fact is that the best thing that this does is it proves that Logan is a priority creator. Now, for those who don't know what this is, YouTube several months ago announced a change where certain creators were going to be exempt from their uh, sort of adpocalypse uh, robot army. Their robot army goes throughout all of YouTube to new uploads, and within mi seconds or minutes, it can tell if your video is ad appropriate. Now, no human tends to even uh, monitor the appeals, so it's literally like mostly automated, and it's very unfair. But there is a class of happy YouTubers who have like extremely large audience. We're not talking like a couple hundred thousand people. We're talking a couple million people. Uh, audience size. They're they're considered PC and non-controversial, politically correct, family friendly, or they they buy corporate ads on YouTube, like a Jimmy Kimmel, someone who maybe they they can make a risque joke, like you know if I do it and I was monetized, it, the video would not be able to be monetized but if Kimmel does it it's okay because he's trustworthy I don't know why but YouTube has decided to favor large corporate entities and lame streamers who are you know sort of bought out I mean it's all money related let's not kid ourselves but they are right uh, if a normal user uploaded such content it would not have trended it wouldn't be able to trend uh, because it would have been demonetized and restricted uh, there are little uh, apparently in the metadata there are codes that are affixed to videos that sort of determine now, whether they're treated fairly or not by algorithms now, which means YouTube search results and related videos, by the way, are all topsy-turvy. Depending on which week, uh, your videos might get like twice the traffic or half the traffic, depending on whether you said poo-poo in a video. Now, it's really, really strange. They haven't really told people exactly how their uh, algorithms actually do this, so a lot of people are concerned. Then there are people who are saying, no, no, you didn't do anything wrong, like he's such a great guy, and, and I'm sitting here, now I'll give my opinion. Logan Paul has vacuous, PCG-rated, corporatized bullshit content. Not the sort of content, certainly, that I watch. Th and that being said, of course, at the same time, yeah, the fact that he's being given deferential treatment, even for a short period, 
on a video, I mean, he takes the video down, but while it's up, he's getting millions and millions of views, he's getting ad revenue, it's trending, YouTube doesn't have a problem with it because he's a priority creator. It's unfair. But the thing is, it's unfair to, to other people. I don't have a problem with the content itself. So trust me, I've seen way, way worse than, oh, a person in the suicide forest, a uh, slightly, you know, mangled body. You know, one that's, I, I guess, its entrails have sort of slumped out of its uh, chest cavity. It's just messed up. I've seen way worse than that. People pretending that it's like the worst thing they've ever seen. Oh, come on. Come on, absolutely not. Like, you're, like your kids, if they're under 18, you're worried about like the, the oh, it's younger users angle. Uh, they can certainly find worse than that on LiveLeak. Uh, there are a million websites out there that specifically cater to that kind of disturbing material. Even the music. <laughs> Some of the imagery on like a grindcore cover is disturbing. I wasn't 18 yet, and I was, you know, exposed to some of that stuff. Well, like in high school, in the computer lab and stuff. Yeah, there's some weird shit online. There still is. And it didn't, you know, screw me up too bad, I guess. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm mildly successful. I, I do well. Uh, it's, it didn't ruin my life and make me, like, suicidal or anything like that. No, no something totally legal did, though. I'm going to look up the Spice video. It's like there's drug use on YouTube. Nobody apparently fucking cares about that anymore. It's still technically against the rules, but it's unenforced for the most part. Unless someone's like shooting heroin into their eyeball and going crazy on a, a YouTube video. They don't seem to have a problem with it. It's just like if you're a big corporate sponsored or, or Euro channel, uh, you can upload that sort of content at a whim and it's still monetized. Nobody has a problem with it. It's, it's weird, but the problem is this. The fundamental problem that this exposes isn't, hey, Logan Paul is an ass for being disrespectful of a corpse. I really, I, I can't be compelled to care. I'm sorry. I don't care if he disrespected a corpse. It's a dead body. It's a pile of molecules that are rotting into the ground. It's not a human being anymore. It's just a shell. It's just a piece of flesh. Who cares? I don't care about your religious, spiritual nonsense views. Oh, it's sacred. Oh, it's uncleanly. Or, 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 or you have to dispose of it properly. Or oh, it's so sad. Some people were taking up the suicide line. And they were saying, oh, well, his light, light-hearted treatment of the concept of suicide is just so inappropriate. Maybe it causes, you know, it could be triggering. You should have a trigger warning on the video for people who might be depressed. Bullshit. It's not his responsibility. Uh, if you don't like his content, unsubscribe to his content. But that being said, I would absolutely agree. YouTube should not give anybody priority status. There shouldn't be a priority creator class at all. There also shouldn't be these rampant algorithms. Look, do a few things and do them well instead of being so overarching, so broad, casting the net so wide you can't do anything. Because YouTube has managed, with this, YouTube's pissing off like normies too now. It's not like, you know, before, with Apocalypse generally. At first, it hit primarily people with edgy content. And so none of the normies cared. And, and some of us warned, hey, it's going to be a lot broader than that. You're going to have a lot of problems. Look, priority status will become a problem. Limited state will become a problem. Restricted mode will become a problem. Adpocalypse 2 will become a problem. Nobody paid us heed. Now it comes home to roost in the normie nest. And all of a sudden, yeah, now they have a problem with it. Real, real funny. It's funny how that works. Really funny. Uh, no, I'd say this. Logan Paul should be able to upload whatever the hell he wants. I don't personally care if he uploads grotesque material. I think it should be allowed on YouTube. Who cares? You know, it's like they, they go after like war footage and stuff. Okay, so if you upload war footage, you might get banned for it. But, you know, you at the same time, if you're a priority creator, you can upload, you know, you know grotesque, grisly, suicide, recent suicide. That is hypocritical. But that's not Logan Paul's fault. It's no reflection on his character. It's a reflection on YouTube's uneven policy making. It's a reflection on the fact that the rules no longer are evenly applied to all accounts. They're now a respecter of persons, not a respecter of ideas. It used to be before it was cut and dry. Look, you no, you can't smoke weed on camera. Yes, that includes if you're Jon Stewart. No, you can't show disgusting shit. Yes, that includes if you're Logan Paul. No, you know, back in the battle days, I know none of you will remember this. You couldn't even have like a lesbian kissing video. Yes, that even means, uh, you know, what's her name there, Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, you weren't allowed to do that. And even if the rules were draconian, they were evenly applied. They were evenly, they were applied to everyone. It didn't matter if you had a million subs or, or one sub. Now it's uneven. Now if you have a big audience, you're treated differently. If you're verified, you're treated differently. If they arbitrarily decide you're trustworthy permanently, you're a priority creator, you're certainly treated differently. If you're a corporate firm, you're treated differently. If you're lamestream news and you lie all the time, you're treated deferentially compared to alt media that's actually more honest because it's not controlled by big money. 
That's the way YouTube has become. And that's the fundamental problem. I don't care about the suicide forest video bullshit itself. It's just a symptom of a larger problem. When people are sitting there also, they're acting like, oh, you know, Logan Paul's getting away with it. You know, he should be censored. No, instead of censoring them too, the, the, the lucky ones, the priority creators, why don't you uncensor everybody else and even the playing field that way? More freedom. Isn't that great? You know, if someone's under 18, why are they using YouTube anyway? What's the fucking point? If they're going to be such whiners, uh, this, ooh, I saw a dead body, it's going to fuck me up for life. Oh, come on, this is way worse than that online. Don't, don't try to shill. Holt knows better. All these people know better. You're on the internet. You're not on lamestream cable. You're not watching C-SPAN here. You're on YouTube. Yeah, there's going to be some edgy content. You, know, you decreasingly so because you keep trying to censor everybody with an, an out there opinion or who does anything intelligent. You know, Paul Logan, I mean, uh, Logan Paul, who makes like vacuous uh, little kid content, finally makes a video that's kind of grotesque and out there. And then you decide to jump down. So why didn't you do that when he was simply being talentless and G-rated? Why does he have to be talentless and R-rated before you care? It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. So I'll defend the dude from that aspect. And I don't really care, but he shouldn't get deference. No, it shouldn't be monetized or trending or anything if another person did it. They'll upload the exact same video. They'll just re-upload it and immediately it'll be demonetized. You know, that's what'll happen. Including people with millions of subs. Look, some of them aren't priority creators either because they're they're part of the alt media or they're alt entertainers. Like you, PewDiePie probably isn't a, a priority creator, oddly enough. He probably isn't after his a struggle with the Wall Street Journal. It's pretty, pretty funny uh, to me to see people pretend to be outraged, but most of it's pretend. They're just keeping up with the Joneses. Other people who are actually like easily offended, they say, oh, they clutch their pearls. Then other people who really don't care, they jump on board the, mo the moral issue bus and they decide, hey, I'm going to virtue signal so people know that I'm a good person. No, it makes you an idiot. You, you're, you're worse than Logan Paul is for making this video. If you're pretending to have a problem with it, and you're just shitting on all the other creators too, because then YouTube gets pressured more and more to censor and censor and censor and take material down. And this can't be monetized. That can't be monetized. You can't post this. You can't have that opinion. Praise Merkel. It's bullshit. That's what it is. Oh, yo, Sticks, you know, is, is going to be put in limited state now because, you know, he has he swears like a sailor sometimes. Whoa, we can't have little kids seeing that. You know, his average audience is in their early 30s, but, you know, who cares? Some t some some 17-year-old might have watched his videos and heard fuck. Like, they never heard it at school. Everyone's so thin-skinned. Fucking get over yourselves. You're destroying comedy. You're destroying the internet. You're destroying every bit of intelligence within this world and clinging to a bunch of antiquated, moralistic nonsense that really doesn't benefit us at all. Who cares it is a dead body it is a corpse of someone who you know killed themselves in a society where suicide is sometimes not particularly frowned upon you're applying by the way you know to all the lefties you're applying like western ethnocentric standards to the concept of suicide anyway which is really funny it's like why uh, you got to respect the culture you know what if it was a you know video of any other grotesque thing under the sun what does it matter more because it's suicide and it, it uh, you know really activates your almonds about your own mortality a little bit more because it's more personable or something or is it because you don't like logan paul or is it because you don't like you know the the fact that there could be grisly stuff anywhere we have to have a totally sanitized platform no we don't we don't have to have any sanity on the platform or uh, sanitization it's not necessary uh, what we should do is have a more wild west youtube uh, in which there's no priority creators um, nobody gets abused. How about that? Wouldn't that be uh, preferable? And who cares about the advertisers, people who, I'm offended by what I saw on YouTube. Who cares if you're offended? Then go elsewhere. Go to some other fucking site. See if there's a, a viable alternative that's not even more edgy than YouTube. Like if uh, he were to upload this on BitChute or PewTube, nobody would care. <laughs> Steam it. They're not going to care. Oh, they'd be like, oh, cool, a dead body. Yeah, come on. Uh, that's what I was doing, you know, 10 years ago. I was like, oh, cool, I can visit these shock sites, see little weird degenerated stuff. Here's a site that has, like, celebrity morgue and, and people sectioned with a spiral saw. And here's the grindcore accomplished. It was great. Yeah. What's wrong with it? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not seeing the problem. That's like saying, oh, weed is wrong. Uh, you, you can't uh, do, do mushrooms. Who cares if you do mushrooms? It's not going to fuck you up, probably. 
You'll probably be fine. That's the funny part. Look, uh, lamestream establishment propaganda and lies will fuck you up way worse than anything you find on the weird side of YouTube anyway. And there's the other part. Why is it acceptable to have like tumor pop videos and stuff like that to show like blood and pus and grotesque shit, but it's not okay to see like a, a dead human figure with its face blurred out no less. It's not like they're revealing the dude's identity. It's just, you know, they blurred that out along with some of the worst of the gore, I think like his genitals. Uh, how is that worse than tumor pop? Or, or that cow, the one with the cow and they like have to puncture an abscess and there's like pink slime coming out, it's like strawberry milk. How, how are they different? I'm, I'm sorry, why is that acceptable? Or operation videos. Oh, here's a video of open heart surgery. Oops, oh, you know, that valve, uh, you know, yeah, we're gonna have to pull that out. Oh, there's a tumor, let's slice a cyst removal. Yeah, people are uh, pretending to be offended. Go to the weird side of YouTube and uh, if you're easily offended, like you must get off on being offended. If So if you wanna get off, just go to the weird side of YouTube. Or actually don't even use YouTube because it's still like ultimately PG-13 uh, platform. You should go to other sites where there's edgy stuff. That's about all. Peace out.